you know, we all remember the chilling images showing rioters standing on the U.S. Capitol building to protest the presidential election of Joe Biden. This morning, we take a look back at the events of one of the most chaotic days in American history and where we stand today. Are there any objections to count January 6, 2021 began with Congress gathering to count the Electoral College votes. Any other year, it's just a formality. But this time, outside the White House, then President Trump spoke to crowds of supporters, calling the election fraudulent. Trump pushed his vice president to overturn the results. After this, we're going to walk down and I'll be there with you. We're going to walk down to the Capitol because you'll never Take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. The president didn't join the crowds that marched on the Capitol. That afternoon, the gates on the east and the west side of the building were breached. Rioters pushed past Capitol Police. They climbed walls in a siege that lasted four hours. People were saying, you know, screaming, chanting, you know, this is our house. This is our house. Outside the House chamber, a rioter was shot and killed by police. Lawmakers barely escaped. Then finally, a message from former President Trump. We have to have peace, so go home. That night, lawmakers returned and Biden was declared president. In the months that followed, federal investigators made 700 arrests. More than 150 rioters pleaded guilty. More than 50 were convicted. 12 Coloradans are among those arrested. Glenn Wesley Croy is the only one to be sentenced so far. He pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor charge and was sentenced to 14 days community corrections and three years probation. Olympic swimmer Cleet Keller's sentence could come soon. He faces two years in prison after pleading guilty to obstruction charges.